Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's Earth Day weekend, April 21st, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. Today we'll be talking about and highlighting different events and drives across the country that you can get involved in this weekend for Earth Day. Starting first, in New Jersey, the award-winning National Electronics Recycling Program of LG Electronics is coming home this weekend as the LG North American headquarters hosts a free community e-waste drive this Earth Day. On April 22nd, local residents are invited to drop off any brand of unwanted electronic products from TVs and monitors to computers and tablets at LG's corporate campus in Inglewood Cliffs, New Jersey. LG is encouraging participants to replace their recycled electronics with Energy Star certified products. The program helps keep e-waste and related toxic substances from landfills and water streams. For this event, LG is joining forces with electronic waste solutions expert Green Chip Solutions, which provides a wide range of IT asset disposition and e-waste services to companies, healthcare providers, government agencies, and the public. Across the country, LG recycled almost 50 million pounds of e-waste in 2022 and is the EPA Energy Star Partner of the Year for 2023. Shifting to Hillsborough County, Florida now, the Hillsborough County Solid Waste Facility in a first-of-its-kind partnership is now working with Goodwill. In a pilot program which began seven months ago, Goodwill now has a full-time staff member located at the landfill to save potentially recyclable items from winding up in the landfill and creating more unnecessary waste. Since its inception, Goodwill claims to have diverted over 24,000 pounds of material that would have ended up in landfill with over 500 donors and 8 thousand individual items. The program has already proved so successful surrounding communities and counties have already begun initial talks to begin their own pilot program. Utica, New York is certainly getting in the Earth Day spirit with multiple high profile programs this weekend for Earth Day. The Oneida Herkimer Solid Waste Authority will hold its annual Earth Day recycling event Saturday, April 22nd. The event will take place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Oneida Herkimer Recycling Center in conjunction with Confidata, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, the Utica Zoo, and the Oneida County Cornell Cooperation Extension. The recycling event will include confidential paper shredding, unused medication and pharmaceutical collection, household hazardous waste cleanup, recycling center tours, and rain barrel and compost bin order pickup. In addition to that, the Central New York Veterans Outreach Center there is hosting an Earth Day recycling drive to support its homeless veterans program. The event will also be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the parking lot of Notre Dame Elementary School located at the corner of Genesee Street and Barton Avenue in Utica. The organization will accept all types of textiles regardless of their condition, scrap metal, unwanted Christmas lights, returnable bottles and cans, even unwanted appliances. The funds raised from recycling these items all stay local and help fund housing programs for homeless veterans and their families. Lastly, Oneida County is also hosting its 12th annual Intergenerational Spring Cleanup Day this weekend. Starting at 9 a.m. April 22nd in the parking lot of Proctor Park, youth volunteers will be assigned to help senior citizens who either cannot physically handle or pay for work such as general yard cleanup, bringing light refuse to the curb and sweeping sideways, porches, and sidewalks. Inspired by Earth Day, the Crown Battery Company has announced it has implemented a five-year near-zero waste initiative. To that end, last year Crown Battery switched to 100% renewable energy to power its manufacturing and became the first ever battery company recognized as a U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Green Power Partner. Crown Battery's five-year zero-waste goals include... 
increasing previously recycled material use from 80% to 85%, decreasing water usage by exceeding the current 51% water reuse rate, continuing collaborations with government laboratories, private companies, and leading universities to lower battery waste and enhance lifespan and performance, expand 100% renewable energy beyond the headquarters and manufacturing plant to lower CO2 emissions, support strong policies for universal, complete battery recycling, and help their suppliers reduce waste by an additional 20%. The president of Crown Battery, Hal Hawk, said, quote, reducing waste conserves non-renewable resources and ensures we and future generations can enjoy fresh air, clean drinking water, and a high quality of life. We've invested heavily above and beyond recycling to do more with less impact and to ensure no battery is left behind, end quote. If you live in Texas, you will certainly have a lot of Earth Day activities to choose from this weekend. In Austin, Huston Tillerton University will be hosting an Earth Day ATX Festival from noon until 5 p.m. on Saturday, April 22nd. There will be various panels, speakers, and performances for families and friends to enjoy throughout the day. The Zero Waste event will provide opportunities for festival goers to lower their carbon footprint and learn more about conservation and recycling. The Trail Conservancy will be hosting its first Earth Day Jubilee at International Shores from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Admissions free to all. There will be food trucks, workshops, earth-friendly makers, as well as vendors and live music. The LBJ Library is hosting an Earth Day celebration from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. featuring an exhibit on Dr. Seuss's The Lorax with original prints of the book. Admission and parking are free. St. Elmo is hosting its very first planting party on Saturday, April 22nd. Tools and supplies will be provided to plant trees in the brewery's new side yard. Complimentary beers and hop water will be available to all participants. In Dallas, the city is hosting the annual largest green gathering in the world at EarthX Expo. The expo runs through Sunday, April 23rd. There will be live music, art, food, and different exhibits at Fair Park for participants to enjoy. The expo itself is free. The Dallas Botanical Gardens is hosting an Earth Day market on Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Vendors will be selling locally made, earth-friendly, and sustainable goods. For those looking to volunteer, Bonton Farms is hosting a serve and social event from 1 to 3 p.m. on Saturday. Those attending will be able to garden, harvest, and tend to the animals on the farm. Supplies will be provided, but people are encouraged to bring their own gloves. And in San Antonio, the San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is celebrating Earth Day this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Woodlawn Lake Park. There will be hands-on family activities, free tree adoptions, dance and musical performances, and environmental organizations present. Additionally, there will be a yoga class and food vendors. Lastly, you can join others at the Guadalupe River for an Earth Day River Cleanup, sponsored by Watertight Cocktail Company, Rambler Sparkling Water, and a few others. The event kicks off at 10 a.m. at Rockin' R's Growing Light Bar. Participants will hit the river to pick up litter, tubes, rafts, paddle boards, and mega trash bags will be provided. And our last trip on today's Earth Day tour will take us to Connecticut, where starting tomorrow, Connecticut citizens could wind up earning cash prizes for riding economically. Beginning this Earth Day, a new campaign in Connecticut will reward commuters who take so-called green trips with the opportunity to win up to $500. CT Rides, a service of the Connecticut Department of Transportation, is launching its Drive Less CT Climate Challenge campaign, encouraging commuters to utilize more eco-friendly methods of getting around, such as using public transportation, carpooling, and telecommuting or working from home. The campaign's goal is to reduce single rider commuting, or in other words, just simply riding alone in a car. Participants can download the CT Rides app and record green trips to begin earning rewards from April 22nd through May 31st. Eligible green modes of commuting include taking a train, bus, carpool, van pool, bike, walking, or working from home. 
The Climate Challenge is open to all CT Rides members who record eligible trips on its app. The trips are not limited to work-related trips except for those that are recorded as working from home. The more trips recorded, the larger the prize they are eligible. Through the initiative, CT Rides hopes to eliminate 20,000 car trips, 275,000 pounds of emission, and reduce 300,000 car miles, equivalent to 95 car trips from Maine to South Carolina. The Challenges website has a progress board that tracks the collective impact of green trips taken during this time period. And do make sure to go online and check for all of the Earth Day 2023 events going on in your area. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recyclist, your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific, the industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com, or you can call them at 321-223-7500. I've been your host, Eric Provost. We will see you back next week for another episode of Recyclist.